All right, I'll give you guys a little walk around on how this sucker's gonna work. As of right now, I've got the front switch in the load load position. The clear stack lights on, showing you that it's ready to load wood. Fan, fans off. Dampers in the closed position, so no air can get to the air box. Walk around here to the front. All right, now lights on, obviously. Here's our switch cover. Get done loading the wood. Close and pull the damper rod out, which I still got to push putting the handle on. Flip the switch to that position. Turns the light off. Now I got the controller toggled off, but this will always be on air. I'll, I'll turn the uh, back on. Damper opens. Blower's on. Damper's fully open now. Blower's running. Pressurizing the air box. Pushing air into the air tubes, into the gas chamber, and up into the fire box. And we'll look back here. Green lights on, indicating that the fan and the damper are running. I have a blown bulb in the uh, blue light, which shows that my power's on. I've got to change that here in a minute. <laughs> 33 degrees out here. Feels more like 15. Now I'll uh, turn the controller off. This is like if it was up to temperature. And you guys can see the fan will shut off and then the damper will close on its own. This damper is spring return. doesn't have require any power to close. Power open and holds open. Spring return to close. So if there is a power failure, for any reason, that damper will close and it'll shut all air off to the furnace. So it'll have no runaway conditions or boil overs. Right above here is our float switch for the water level. And this fills up. Float inside comes up. And there it's up. Trips the switch. Turns the light off. Comes back down. Trips it on turns red light on. I can see it from the house if I know if I'm low on water. Now we're trying to look at a piece of rod sticking out the top of a rubber cap. Even though I'm going to put that on there too so I can see it if I'm outside. Just in case the bulb blows out. Down here is my uh, high temperature aquastat. I've got it set for 200 degrees. If the furnace gets over 200 for some reason, the controller doesn't shut off. This will trip, which breaks the current circuit to the relay, which will not let any more power flow to the blower and damper, which will shut the furnace down. Just standard Honeywell Aquastat, nothing fancy. Probes in a dry well going into the back of the water tank. Did put a put a light in here so you can work in here at night if you need to and do something. Works out real nice and handy. Pumps are mounted, ready to go. 
I gotta do is get a drug outside, cut holes in my uh, B deck in the bottom, bring my tubing up through, and start hooking that up. That'll give you a little idea how it's gonna work as soon as we get some wood in. Hopefully, maybe by Monday we can see what it does. <laughs> 